Do you struggle to create PowerPoint presentations? Wouldn't it be great if you could type a short sentence explaining what you have in mind and a presentation slide is automatically created for you using artificial intelligence similar to ChatGPT. Turns out you can do that using a new service called vSlides. Let me show you. Go to vslides.com. Currently, the service is free. There is a free tier with certain restrictions and they have a premium tier which is supposed to be $20 a month but is currently free. As of now, the service does not ask you for the credit card to sign up for the premium account. So that's what I did. Let's say I'm preparing a presentation on the benefits of electric vehicles. I will type my query benefits of electrical vehicles for the environment and hit generate. After a few seconds, it creates for me a slide with the key points and an explanation on each point. The initial slide will give us three features of the topic that we have selected, but I can always add more. On the right hand side are additional topics that I can add to the slide. Let's say I want clean air to be one of the points that I want to add to this slide. I click on cleaner air and it adds it as point number four and generates the right explanation for that point. I can rearrange the points. Let's say I want quieter roads to be number one. And let me add reduce maintenance as point number five. If you have something in mind related to this topic, but that item is not in the suggested list, you can always add your own. For example, let me add driverless cars. Though I'm not sure that this feature is exclusive only to electric vehicles, but let's add it. When it comes to good presentation skills, we should avoid the temptation of adding as many points as possible. A general rule of thumb is that a slide should not have more than four to five talking points. Let's say I want to remove this point, cleaner air. I can go up here and click this delete button. Also, let me remove this driverless cars point. If I'm not happy with the explanation provided, I can always ask the system to regenerate the response. Move the mouse over here and hit this regenerate and you will get a different response for the same point. That's the power of generative AI. If I want to change the look and feel, go down here and select templates. As of now, there are only three templates available, but there's a promise of more coming soon. Let me choose this darker template and the elements in the slide are changed to reflect that template. Let me hide the template. To configure other generation parameters, click on the settings. The first is related to the tone of the message. By default, it is formal, but let's say I want to make it simple and the entire slide will be regenerated to have that kind of tone. If you want creative, you will get a different kind of response. Play around with the tone to see what suits your presentation style. You can change the length of the explanation as short, medium or long. By default, it is medium. Let's make it short or long. A good presentation skill is to have only the talking points on the slide. And this gives an opportunity for the speaker to elaborate on those points during his presentation. I like short. And finally, you can decide whether you want numbers or icons for each talking point. I prefer icons. Close the settings when you're done. If you want to see how this presentation will actually look in presentation mode, use this option and press escape when done. If you want to dig deeper into each talking point, you can do that. Just select the item, let's say lower emission and choose from here, deep dive. What this will do is it will generate for you a new slide on the talking point of lower emission. For this slide, let me change the length of the explanation to medium. I will remove the third talking point and instead let me choose lower health cost. If I want to use the same template as slide number one, select show templates and choose the slide. When you're done with your presentation, click on export and you have the ability to export it as either a PowerPoint presentation or as a PDF file. You can also use the copy option, which will copy all the text into the clipboard. For now, let's export these two slides as a PowerPoint presentation. Click PPT and it has downloaded for us the PowerPoint. 
Let me click on this and it should open PowerPoint for me. And there you have it. So that's a look at a very interesting service that uses the power of generative AI to create for us PowerPoint presentations by simply typing a prompt. Give it a try and see how it works for you. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button because it encourages me to create more content like this.